SAS feature. Let's go in and learn how we're going to actually be making changes to our actual file. So if we're going to jump in here under fuel into our base. This is going to be our base volumetric efficiency table. And we're going to see that we have um, a normal table based on engine load here. So this is our map pressure. And we're going to find that we have engine RPM on the other axes here. Now if we want to go ahead and make a change to a volumetric efficiency value in the actual table, we, can ha we have a couple different choices here. We can simply go in here and make all these values the same. So if we highlight a, a bunch of values and we would say, let's, I want to make these uh, 58. If we just highlight them and type 58, it's going to go into direct entry here. And then we're just going to simply click OK or hit Enter. It's going to take those changes and going to apply them to the map. Now if we want to change things by a, a percentage, we're going to be highlighting a particular area, hitting the P button, and that's going to be a percentage change. So we might find that we want to add 5%. So if we could simply add 5% there, it's going to change all these values by 5%. So those are going to be the two main uh, ways we're going to be making changes to our table. We're either going to en enter a direct entry or we're going to go ahead and enter uh, an actual percentage. Now, as we enter and change our values in the table, we're going to find in this particular situation that we're not able to uh, have the values be uh, blended here. So if you look at our table to give you a better illustration of this, uh, visually, we can see that we have a dip here, and that's because I have uh, approximately 60.8 60 or 61 percent of the E, and then it dips down to 56 and comes back into 60, 60, 59.6. If we want to go ahead and blend changes in the table, we're going to use a very specific uh, way to do this. If we go and highlight across and we click L, that's going to linearize between these values. And if we want to go ahead and linearize a larger portion of the map, we can simply highlight either a 3x3 three three or a 4x4, four four, and we're going to use a very specific technique here to go ahead and smooth out our table. So if we go and highlight that, we did 4x4, uh, four four, so, or I'm th sorry, 3x4, so uh, let's just do a 3x3. Three three. So we're going to be three uh, cells this way, three cells this way. I'm going to click my L button, and you can see that's going to linearize everything in this highlighted area. And if we move it down with our arrow keys, if we move this up or down, we move it down, we're going to do the same thing, we're going to keep moving around and clicking L. And that's going to go ahead and apply our changes, and it's going to smooth out our table here. So if we just kind of run it through and uh, keep moving it around here and clicking L as we're moving it, we're going to now look back at our table, and we can see that this is all smoothed out here. The goal is to have a smooth volumetric efficiency map or any kind of a table they're going to be working with even our ignition table. We want to have a smooth table when we look at it in this three-dimensional format. We don't want to see we have large jumps uh, and we don't want to see we have big dips uh, because our volumetric efficiency of our engine is not going to have a massive drop uh, between one RPM point to another or one load point to another. They have to be smooth changes in volumetric efficiency. So we're going to be uh, trying to mimic that when we do our fuel tables.